All right, the recording is on. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We are once again playing Urgot, but this time we're going to be doing Heart Steel. And see how many stacks we can get. Ooh, I should have taken MR rune. I guess I want HP. But Silas is actually a really good matchup for Urgot. Um, it does feel really bad to get thrown into your own grinder, though. It's the one thing I dislike about this match. But it is nice because he usually kind of... If he wants to do big damage, he has to go in. He can poke with Q a little bit. But if he really wants to chunk you, he kind of has to dive into you. So you have a good chance to land your E. But yeah, I haven't done Heart Steel Urgot in a while. It's been a few months since I played this build. Um, it's very slow, but if you can get like a 30 minute game, you actually get stacked up pretty good. Just turn into a giant crab. Ooh, good play by him. Dang. Really good play by him. Yeah, honestly, you don't want to be too aggressive with your E like I just did there. You want to wait for him to E in and then try to E buffer that. It is my first game of the day, so we got to warm up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we definitely got to warm up. Rip cannon. Ooh, nice. This will be a good trade for us. Flash auto almost kills, but not quite. Plus, he has a biscuit. I don't want to get baited. Oh my god, that was actually really close. Well played by him, honestly. He played this line pretty good. Thankfully, our E came up right in time. Okay, I'm going to try to wait for my E here and then bait for Skarner. Oh my god, why did IQ? Maybe it's fine. Okay, it's actually good that I queued. Just try to run, bud. I'm just here for the moral support. Ooh, nice stun. Wow, well played. Hits him with the penguin dab too. Nice. All right, we're just gonna pour it back here. Um, I am gonna go cleaver first because I've tried heart steel first a few times, and you just don't really have much damage. And also, you don't really get that many stacks. I only get like I was getting around three to four stacks in lane phase. Because when you get heart steel, people kind of just play away from you usually. So yeah, going Cleaver first will delay a little bit of stacks, but it's not too bad. It just feels weird to play Urgot without a damage item first. You just feel so weak. Gonna have to Q that. Oh dang, I was trying to get my shotgun there. Alright, we can tank these out a little bit. I'll just use my shield. Yeah, I had a really nice heart steel game, actually, where I did rush it first, but I was up against a proxy singed, and I don't know. The lane was kind of boring, so I didn't. I'd probably not gonna post it. Maybe I will. I don't know. Could also post it to my second channel. Maybe I kind of just throw random stuff on there. Yeah, if you guys have any like fun ergot builds you want me to try out that are like semi viable. Definitely let me know in the comments. I've been kind of want to revisit that uh, Navori Quick Blades build. That one's actually really fun. See if we can zone this guy a little bit. He might try to greed for cannon, I'm thinking. Even if he goes for a Q on it, that's kind of our window to try something here. He's playing the distance pretty good, though. Also a little bit scared of Jarvan. I haven't seen him in a while. You always want to think where the jungle is going to be, especially in top lane when your wave is slow pushing like this. I'm hoping I can maybe bait this guy to go in here. He's going to steal my grinder and try to all in. Ooh, 
Ooh, he just got my grinder. Oh my goodness. Dude, these 1v1s are so spicy. I was kind of playing with fire a little bit there. I think he still has his TP. He might have used it earlier. Actually, maybe he did use it earlier. It's still risky to go for, though, because I could get ganked. Let's get early boots to help out dodge these Qs out a little bit. Guy's honestly playing the lane pretty good. I kind of played it bad intentionally there just to try to bait him in. Because it kind of looked like he wanted to like fight in that wave. I do think the going him going for the freeze was a little bit greedy for sure. I don't know. Is he running armor rune? Yeah, he's not running armor rune. If you don't run armor, those minions make such a big difference. Even the mage minions still do physical damage. Which I always thought was kind of weird. Also, I don't know why he... Maybe he was going to go mid lane. Or maybe he thought it was going to be Malphite mid. Because, yeah, he did take MR. Okay, he never used it. Or he never used my grinder. We got to be careful of that. One of the worst feelings in the game is dying to your own grinder. It's actually the worst. Oh, these Q pokes, man. I thought boots would help. Still really slow, though. Wow, that is aggressive. Good thing I'm playing kind of safe there. I guess the timer was about to run out on his ulti, so he just tried to fish for something. Nice, got all the minions. Doing pretty good on farm. We're 63 right now. I don't know if he's doing a cheeky bush play or he actually recalled. He probably recalled. Let's push here. I don't think he'd be waiting that long. We'll just use this time to back and... I'm kind of thinking... Oh, is he going to freeze actually? If he freezes, I might just stay. Yeah, I don't want him to freeze this. That's kind of good, because I was thinking about waiting for boots anyway. But now we can just buy them. It's not a cannon wave, which kind of sucks. You want to try to back on a cannon wave here. Just so it takes him a little bit longer to push. Merc Treads are actually pretty good for this game. Let's just get those right now. It's going to help out my lane a lot. I don't know if... Uh, if Misfortune goes AP or AD, if she's support. I haven't seen Misfortune support in a while. I think they used to go AP. She has a long sword though, so probably this one's probably AD. Oh, you're going to get ganked, dude. Kind of a bad time for him to invade the jungle right now. Oh, he's doing some damage though. Maybe he's fine. If he gets some jukes here, good try. Well, my lane got a kill, but that should be honestly fine. I still have a pretty good lead. Plus, I just naturally do pretty good in this matchup. Ooh, he did get double buffs, though, which is kind of crazy on Silas. He's going to key spam for days. It's good to make him use Q on me there so he misses that cannon. It's one thing you always want to try to do versus not only Silas, but just range matchups in general and melee matchups too. You can really zone people off cannon with Urgot. Because if they go for the cannon, then they're probably going to run into your E range. So it kind of forces people to pick. Oh, wait, I did not see he had that. I got a flash. I was not paying attention to that. I might lose because he has double buffs. Nice. We dodged out of Z. I think I got him. Wow, that looked cool right as he dashed in. Honestly, another close kill there. If I didn't have flash, I was definitely dead.
probably has teleport back. If I can get one more plate, we can get Cleaver. Just hope he doesn't steal my grinder and snipe me. Or a jungle gank. If Jarvan doesn't have ulti, I'm probably okay. Yeah, that's where I wish I had my flash. At least Jarvan got the shutdown, though. I knew that plate was a little bit greedy, but it does give us our cleaver, so I think it's worth it. Alternatively, I could sell my D-Blade. Or, like, maybe Silver Fillable and wait a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how much gold I was off. Selling D-Blade's not too bad either, though. I wonder, I wonder if that Blast Cone is up. I could do a Flank TP. It's, like, right out of vision, so I can't tell. It might be up. All right, we can maybe just run around here. He could have a ward. Oh. Let's make this guy jump away. Maybe Skarner can help me out. Looks like he has a battle of his own. Oh, dang. I made him flash at least, though. I thought Zed would be kind of caught off guard there because I, I was on the Jarvan. Like, looking for the kill on Jarvan. No In hindsight, it was pretty obvious that J4 is going to solo Shelly there. I think I win without Grinder. My Cleaver Spike is so strong. Whenever you get this item on Urgot, just try to force fights. His W does heal him more the lower he gets, though, so I gotta be careful not to get baited. Could also get ganked. If I get ganked, we get Dragon. So it's actually not bad to play kind of aggressively right now. Oh, nice, I got the Silas. Dang, I almost got him. If I had a shotgun there. Alright, well, like I said, free dragon. I guess he does go for the top gank again. Kind of a lot of ganks up here, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I redid my item set. So if you guys ever want a really nice item set, I cleaned it up with everything that I actually build. I had a few items on there previously where I didn't really build them that much. So it was just kind of, it was really cluttered. And these are the two main builds that I do. The last two items are always a bit situational. But the first three items are always core. This game we're doing more of a fun around build. I don't have the heart steel build on here. But yeah, if you guys want that item set, it's on my it's in my Discord server. If you go to the uh, announcements page. Pretty nice to have an item set so you don't have to be searching for everything. I'm also making a new Urgot guide as well, so I'm going to have a lot of stuff in there. Um, I do have the guide on Mobifier currently right now. The problem with Mobifier, there's a lot of coding. It's like HTML coding, I think. And it just takes a long time to update. So I'm doing a new guide in Google Docs, and it's going to be way easier for me to keep up to date. So pretty excited about that. Expect to see that in, next, in probably the next month or two. I'm kind of taking my time with it, because I don't want to go like all in and get burnt out. So I'm trying to do a little bit each day. But I'm going to have tips on every matchup, and mostly just item build and like general ergot tips. So it should be pretty cool. It'll be really cool to actually keep it up to date. That's my issue with Mobifier. Because if there's a patch and something changes, it takes me like... Even just editing a little thing can take me like 10 to 20 minutes making the coding right. I could look for a TP here pretty soon. Could also go for Tier 2. Silas is actually rotating. Dang, I really wish I had TP a little sooner. 
But I do think we should be able to get the tier two here. And then that'll give me enough for heart steel. So whenever you're taking towers, make sure you guys try to do the three W auto attack. It does help out for taking towers a lot. I'm not perfect with it, but just try to try your best to get that flow down. Nice. And he's worth a shutdown. Very nice. Let's snake that tower, too. The grinder. Love seeing Urgot get those grinder kills. Whenever I have an Urgot on my team, which isn't very often. I, I've had a few in my Aram games lately, though. It's actually so nice seeing your teammate get a nice Urgot snipe. All right, sweet. We got a heart steal, and also a little bit of gold to spare too. So with the heart steal build, I do like to go uh, Titanic. So I think we're just gonna get the Tiamat. Can't remember. There we go. Couldn't remember where I put it. That is the nice thing about an item set, though. Is your items are always in the same spot, so like you, for the most part, you usually know where stuff is. Which is good because you want to try to like reduce your time in the shop and what the heck is this guy doing? Oh, he jumped over with a blast gun then. The Alright, we'll try to look for a good TP, start getting some heart steel procs. Maybe I'll try to kill this guy real quick. He just used E. If I get the Q, I think we got him. There it is. We got a lot of damage right now. Yeah, always. if you're chasing somebody, always try to land your Q before your ulti just to get that slow down. Right now with max Q, you're, my slow's a 65%. I go Q max second every game now also. I've been doing that for kind of a while, but I still get some comments about that of like when to go E max second over Q. And I think Emax second is always better now. I used to do Emax like way back in the day. But the damage and slow just goes up too much on Q. And if you think about it with E, the cooldown only goes from 11 seconds to 9.3 seconds. So it's still a really long cooldown. I'm going to go for a grinder snipe here. Oh, I thought that landed. That's a miss. Dang, I thought that landed. Gosh, that heart steal sound is so satisfying. I love it. Oh, that's right. He sells this ball. Oh my gosh. Malphite Wombo. Try to get a Q in here. Man, we got a beefy team comp. Malphite, Urgot, Skarner. And I'm going more of like a frontline build. Kind of crazy frontline for Lucian. And he's doing pretty good too. Because that's going to take our side lane. Alright, cool. We can sell our call for Titanic. Which, let's see, it's going to give me an extra 46 AD right now. So, 76 AD. Plus, we get some extra on-hit damage. Well, this thing is, like, it's hard to click on for some reason. Sometimes that thing feels buggy. I could go for the snipe, but we probably want to save it for drag. Oh, hello. <laughs> Walked right into my shotgun. The name CMTP back to the shadow. I guess I didn't get a heart steal proc because he died too fast. Whoa, Malphi ulti on Silas is crazy. Oh, nice. I got the pull off. Enemy. 
Come on, auto attacker got. I'll just get a Q on him. Good thing we're maxing Q second. I'll let that guy solo that. Could maybe look for a TP mid, but I kind of want to just go for tier two. Yeah, because after the inhib, they're going to back out. Or he's going to. I guess it's literally just Skarner. I was kind of thinking Shelly was a champion too. It'd be funny if Shelly could like back out and recall and go to another land. Like advanced AI Shelly or something. So for next item, I could either go Sterax or I could go Stone Plate. I'm kind of leaning towards Sterax just because I'm more fed and damage sounds nice. I don't know if this TP is any good. Titanic does feel really nice in this build. All right, nice GG. Didn't really get to start or er, stack heart steel too much, so I'll probably do another round of this. So yeah, see you guys back for round two. That was a fun round one. Alrighty, guys, we are back with round two of the heart steel. And I think just for the sake of it, we might try rushing heart steel. I'll probably get a call first. But maybe we'll try rushing it again as first item, just to get a bit of extra stacks. It's hard to get a ton of stacks unless the game goes to like 30-something minutes. And I haven't really been having too many of those. Jax is going Ignite plus Lethal Tempo, so we're going to be pretty careful level 1. It's also why I don't mind leashing. The key against Jax is to fight when he doesn't have passive stacks up. So right there, he just let his passive stacks drop off. But between his passive and lethal tempo, if those two things are stacked up, you're going to probably lose his Zergot. So it's really important, like especially later on, you want to try to fight him before he hits up the wa or hits the wave and stacks up his passive. I kind of think we'll just go for the push here and grab an early callback. Oh, that mage was hard to click on. It was like inside the cannon. I don't like when the minions overlap like that. Nice. Just enough for call. As long as you get that cannon, you pretty much always get it. Oh, dang. You actually tanked out the wave, though. That's smart. Definitely don't want to leave with the wave in that spot. He's taking a good chunk of minion damage, though. It's definitely a little bit greedy. I'm going to stick around and maybe try to go for a kill now, then. We see their jungle in mid lane, too. Looks like she's making her way top. Nice. He's definitely feeling a little bit pressured, I can tell. That Counter-Strike. Just kind of scared of Briar right now. Maybe I can 1v2 it, though. I do like to take Ignite in the Jax matchup. Which also gives me a lot more 1v2 potential. But Jax is one of the champions where he kind of... He can actually match Urgot scaling. I think he actually kind of outscales Urgot a little bit. It depends, though. If you have a good E... Like, if you land your E into our combo and you have Ignite up, you can usually win. Is what I mean by a good E is you want to try to E when he counter-strikes. You don't want to just E randomly. But you wait until he counter-strikes and then you go for the E. And you want to try to E, like, as late as possible against this counter-strike. Alright, we'll try to 1v2 here. Drop Ignite. I don't know if I win against Briar, though. Do I? 
She has Conquer fully stacked. I'm going to disengage that. Urgo is really good against Briar, but with that Conqueror fully stacked, am I eased down for a long time? I think I would definitely lose that. Let's go ahead and thin this down, and then I think we can just back with it like this so it doesn't fully push into my tower. I don't think it will. Maybe it will. Hopefully not. Actually, let's go for the Reju bead, because that will at least give me some HP regen. I don't know how weak I'm going to be. We have a D-Blade and a Cull and PTA. And Ignite, so I'm still kind of strong off just that. Maybe we can actually get away with this Heartsteel Rush. This is super limit test. Oh man, I love this Golden, golden Sun music. Okay, not bad. Oh yeah, if anybody's curious, I had 21k damage in that last game, by the way. Um, I don't know if you guys care about seeing the end game screen or whatever, like the stats. I always like to look at them if it's like a longer game, but I feel like that one was kind of short. So Briar's on Dragon. We'll probably just force a plate here. If he does auto me, all these minions go on him. Plus, we're up a level right now, so we get some stats off that. Or some stat advantage, I should say. Every level is about 300, 400 gold worth of stats. So always keep that in mind when you're laning. That level advantage makes a big difference. I actually have pretty good sustain with the uh, crystalline thingy in the call. Pretty good damage off PTA, but other than that, I'm a little bit weak, I guess. We do have Ignite back up now, though. Maybe try to get one more PTA proc and then try something crazy. I have a lot of mana pool right now, too, so I can throw out my keys. Nice. I took my time with that one. I kind of thought he was going to maybe try to jump, so I was kind of waiting. And also just getting a better aim. That's the big reason I use these uh, range indicators, because you can hold down the ability. It's really nice for the ulti, at least. A lot of people ask about that. It's still quick cast. Once you let go, it uses the ability. But yeah, it's kind of nice just to get a better aim. I don't really like it for the E. I've been thinking about turning it off for my E, but I just feel like it'd mess with my brain. But sometimes it can slow you down a little bit. Like if I instantly press it, it'll still go off right away. But sometimes I do feel like I hold it down for like a little bit of time and that could make the difference. Oh man, am I really... I feel like I should get boots. Alright, whatever. We're going Kindle. I'm going to be so slow. If I go boots, I'd have to sell my refillable for Ruby. Which maybe that would be the play. If I get ganked right now, I'm kind of just banking on the fact we can 1v2 hopefully with Ignite. I can't remember. Yeah, Briar does go Blade of the Rune King. So they're both going to have Blade of the Rune King, and I'm rushing a Heart Steel. Oh, no. I don't think Ezreal goes Bork, at least. So their only percent HPs are two Borks. But Bork is the counter item versus Heart Steel. 
Falling is saying to report ADC. Yikes. Hey, maybe this could be good, though. My bot lane did really good last game, so it made it kind of short. Maybe I can get, like, really stacked. Oh my gosh, I missed my E. I'm going to try to fear this way, like, into the wave. I think we got her. Flash auto, there we go. Nice. Yeah, always keep in mind they're going to run away from you with the uh, fear. Wait, how come my W's not maxed? Oh my gosh, I put an extra point in Q on accident. I was wondering on that Briar kill. Why my W wasn't just staying on. Alright, well don't do what I did. That was a mistake to do the three points in Q. I do like to go for two points in Q because it ups the damage by a lot. And no matter what, you get your W at nine still. But yeah, don't do three points. I do sometimes do three points in Q versus Rain Champs, though. It actually does feel pretty good. Alright, Heart Steal's complete. Let's go into Black Cleaver next. Oh yeah, one thing I want to say with the Fear, though, is like, they're going to run away from, from Urgot. So if I go behind the Briar, she runs this way, like, more into the lane. It's always important to think about that. Like, sometimes you want to fear people away from your team, and sometimes you want to fear them in. Like, something that I'll do sometimes when I get a good grinder play, I'll, I'll flash behind the enemy, and I'll fear them into my team, so it's a little bit easier for my team to follow up. That's an okay timing on E. I could have waited a little bit more. Yeah, we got a two-level lead right now, and a red buff. I'm pretty fed right now. I'm the only person that's really fed on my team, though. We kind of have to get fed. Bot lane is feeding, and we got a Yasuo. You can never trust these Yasuo players. To be fair, he only has one death, though. It's actually not bad for a 12-minute Yasuo. Can I go for this? Thresh is here. I'm worried somebody else might be here too. Oh my gosh, I'm so greedy for heart steal. I want to proc it. I don't want to die for this stack though. It is kind of good to keep Thresh here so he can't rotate on mid maybe. And I do have a bit of 1v2 potential. I'm just worried about these guys rotating. Oh crap, I'm probably dead. Alright, well, I'm just going to farm my heart steel procs. At least we get something out of it. Dang, shut down to Briar is pretty scary, though. That play was pretty obvious. I was hoping my team would maybe follow the rotation, but the enemy team is closer there. It's easier for them to get over. So definitely pretty, pretty dangerous play. Tabbies are insane value against Jax and Briar. I'll probably end up getting a Thorn Mill over Stone Plate in this build, I think, this game. Early Thorn Mill could be crazy against double Bork and, like, double heavy auto attack. Thorn Mill's really good versus Briar. I saw a Briar the other day going versus a Ramus that had a Thorn Mill, and she just, like, pretty much killed herself. It was so brutal. It's kind of like playing Urgot versus Ramus when you accidentally have your W on. I wonder if I can kill this guy. He's probably going to jump. I was going to see if I could just get a quick heart steal proc. I'm always so greedy when I play this build. Sometimes I just want to like die for heart steal procs. Item is such a bait sometimes. It's like I know it too, but it ends up getting me still. Just so tempting. I'm not seeing Thresh right now or Briar, so let's just kind of wait a little bit. There's Briar. 
If I see Briar, we can walk up. With Ignite right now, we can maybe go for a dive if I can chunk him out a little bit more or like bait out his E. Oh, that's actually some nice damage. I don't know if I can win this. One for one is, or one for zero is good though. Another double heart steal proc too. We're actually getting a lot of stacks for rushing this first. Oh my gosh, a little bit, a little bit late there. Would be nice to steal away the blue. Oh my gosh, they're definitely going to hunt for me here. Nice. The E into portal you can do pretty quick on Urgot. Like, that portal actually goes pretty fast. It's always a good escape route. Sell this for Kindle. We're kind of up on level 13, too. That's going to be huge. Maybe start team fighting. Cleaver plus 13 will be really big. The reason 13 is such a spike on Urgot is your shotguns go down to 2.5 second uh, cooldown per leg. So you just get so many more shotguns. We're probably going to have to ro rotate for this dragon if we want to team fight for it. Which I don't know if we want to. If Kaelin gets picked, it's going to be a tough fight to win here. Have they actually traded the Briar, though? We could we could probably fight this. Oh, nice. That follows through. That actually looks really good. I'll try to make my way over just for a snipe, maybe. Hopefully they can butter him up a little bit more. Nice. We can dive the Ez, I think, here. I want to dive. I can always flash out, worst case scenario. Ooh, Briar ulti, though. I don't want to go for it now. Oh my gosh, we actually got him. Nice, I got the Q for you, dude. Holy moly, I actually can't believe we won that. Yeah, let's get a dragon. I want to get this off the map because they already got two of them. This guy's super chunked. Wow, that was actually a really nice fight. One thing I will say about heart steals, it kind of does some surprise damage, that big burst. People can definitely get baited by that. I do want to say if anybody's watching this video and it's like the first time they're seeing me play Urgot, um, I do recommend Stridebreaker or Jack Show for the Mythic if you're like really trying to climb ranked. But Heartsteel is like a fun scaling build just to get massive. I like to play it every once in a while. I'm pretty low to go in on this. Kind of just hoping I can save him here. Oh, nice. I got the pull. Oh, man. This might turn into a full-on team fight here. Kind of think we should just back out. I don't even have my cleaver right now. I'm kind of... I mean, kind of low on damage. I'm still putting out pretty good damage. The enemy team is really squishy, which is nice. Wow, good bait. Oh, that fear is kind of brutal, though. I have my E up. Oh, that's so nice. You can fling her, like, while she's in her W like that. I actually haven't done that versus Briar yet. I hope I don't get... Oh, they don't, they don't have any teleports. We're good. 
I could get flanked, though, for sure. Oh, man. Let's just go for it. I might as well. I'm committed at this point. We actually do have really good just base health regen with the uh, heart steel. Plus, the coal's giving me 3 HP every W. All right, nice. We're actually getting massive. I'm over half of the team's kills right now. Can almost sell that for Titanic. I guess I'll just sell my D-Blade. Oh, wait. It's 3,300. Let's just do Sterex for now, honestly. Sterex is really good here, too. It's an 1860 shield. I don't think we're going to get bursted with this. I do kind of think we should go Thornmill and then Titanic. Hold on. There might be a mid-fight here. Let's go check this out. I don't know if anybody's blocking. Nice. I got her. The blind snipe. Oh, dude, the grinder looks so good with this skin and the, like, the heart steel making me bigger. Literally giant enemy crab got. This item makes it lore accurate. Is that Flash going to save him? He's really fast. He's got Mobius kicked in. Yeah, have fun with that, Leona. I'm not going to waste my time. I don't know if Kaylin can actually stop Jax. Even though Jax is behind, he's still he's still Jax. Champs like Urga, he's always pretty useful. Okay, I guess he died for the tower though. Uh, maybe I will go Titanic actually, because we have enough for time, Matt. The Thornmill is going to be nice, but. I don't think it's too crucial right now. I want to get some more damage. Do we both do we both get the buff if I take this? Oh no, we don't. Yeah, I guess he should have taken it then. I think if he just takes it, we both get the buff. I'm pretty tanky right now. Even if I get picked, I feel like we can survive for kind of a while with the Sterak shield. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said earlier, but I'm running Conditioning Overgrowth. Conditioning is really nice with this build just to get a little bit of resist. Because you're building so much HP. Oh, I'm taking so much tower damage though. Play this a little bit slow. I don't want to give them a huge shutdown. That list passive can really snowball fights with those ice zombies. Oh my gosh, my Sterak shield though. That can really turn the tables. Nice. Yasuo doing Yasuo things. Oh my gosh, he almost eat on that trap. One thing that's really nice about this build is because you get so much HP, Triumph's actually really nice. Because the way that Triumph works is it's 5% of your missing HP and then 2% of your max HP. I've already healed 3k with this thing. It's actually pretty crazy. We're getting 12% increased champion size right now off Heart Steel. Oh, double snipe? Oh, dang, I should have waited. I guess Thresh tanked out the Caitlyn snipe anyway, though. Ooh, nice cane knockout. Wow, those K knockups are crazy, man. I feel like CC just wins so many games right now. 
I mean, it's kind of been like that for forever on League, I guess. Not even right now. This Jax really loves splitting. I wonder if I should even back for him. Caitlyn probably has him. Yeah, I probably could have gone for this. I was a little bit worried, though, with Thresh Briar. My ulti wouldn't kill that guy, sadly. It's really close, though. All right, well, normally you'd go Stone Plate here in the build, but I think Thornmail's a little bit better, so let's go for that. Let's see, Titanic is giving an extra 61 AD, so we're getting 91 AD. 91 AD and 500 HP. That's some big value. 60 on hit damage. Shockwave deals 144. That 60 damage is a 30 damage if I'm in my W, though. It gets halved. Which is still pretty solid. This is a perfect skin to run if you guys do Heartsteel build. It's actually really cool. Got my rank 3 ulti now. Jax is once again going for the top one split push. I don't think he's going to do anything else, is he? I would like to team fight, but we should we should probably push out the wave. Yeah, let's push out top wave in case he does try to keep splitting. It's always harder to play the mid and late game with Ignite. You don't have that luxury of just being able to port into a fight and like staying in the side lane. So whenever I play Ignite, I'm always kind of like I'm always hovering around for team fights more. Whoa, okay. I don't know if we can do much here. We could probably dive, though. Oh, yeah. Wait, my E missed? Kind of feel like that went through him. Oh, snap. My W tagged. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if it matters. I think I killed that list with my Titanic. Oh, my God, dude. Raid boss Ergot has arrived. Or has scaled, rather. Holy moly, dude. 22 kills with the heart steal. 625 extra HP. That's Sterak shield. Yeah, it's over 2k right now. 2.5. That's like too much of a shield. I don't know if they could ever burst that. It's also a decaying shield, right? Yeah, it's a decaying shield over 4.5 seconds. Which is actually a long time. It's longer than Stone Plate. I think Stone Plate's like 2.5. Nice. Good game. That was fun. Oh my gosh, we got another kill after the Nexus. I thought usually they're... Like, they can't take damage after the ne Nexus dies. Alright, well that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Give that one to Kane. Kane was really good there. He made my lane pretty easy. But yeah, 36k damage. It's really nice. 9.5k heals. I don't know, does it count HP region as healing? Or is that just mostly for my call? I guess call and D-Blade. I don't think it counts health region. But we did have really good health regen, actually. That was kind of nice. 2.5k PTA for almost 5k on Triumph. Holy moly. 520 bonus gold, too. Really nice. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching my content. Appreciate it. And yeah, have a good one. Peace, guys.